seem promised. I cannot see. Where is my light? I can't even find my own shadow. Frolicking on barren walls, I am alone. And I can't find my soul in the shadowy hills of despair, desperately trying to source a, find the source of upcoming, of upheaval, the deficit of manifestation. I am tired of this cold enclosure. I am tired of this habitual sorrow. The world is dark and cold. Hope is a perspiration and despair. It cannot come out with some heat. We tend to repeat this bliss, leaving time to dismiss, expecting it to be our saving grace. And the world stayed quiet. Like it cleaned the fifth. With this dark, cold expression like it needed to drift. Apocalypse occurring on a day-to-day -day basis. And faces exuding staleness because they're running out of graces. And at the end of it all, the heat always cools down, leaving nothing but the expressions of a colorful frown. The world, the world is dark and cold. cold. But, but today I saw the sun. Wow. It illuminated my life, giving it new dimension as it changed. It's Rays washed over me, reaching every corner, crevice, and crack of my soul, filling it with this newfound warmth, heated bliss. It's indescribable, undeniably unbelievable. Now that's inspiration. All your life thinking that you're blind, but your sight was just obstructed. The light was always there, blinding your eyes just needed an adjustment. So when you're feeling all alone and your life is just a blur, remember, and today I saw the sun. Today I saw the sun. It was only a glimpse, but it was just enough to restart the part of my heart that shut down and closed itself off to faith. It was only for a moment, but that brevity saved my soul. Because there was something deep, dark, and black brewing inside of me, acknowledged against my will and suppressed by choice. Something black about 2 a.m., something black about noise, something black about silence, something dark. Living life like a patient in pre-op, I succumb to the anesthetic slowly, then all at, at once, once I've grown desensitized because the blues are once bluer. The azalea flower in my hair gave testament to the beauty of life, but I no longer look to the skies, and I definitely don't pick flowers. I haven't done it since last June, but today I saw the sun. I saw the sun. I saw the sun and I felt life. I felt blood. I felt my heart beating quickly, beating back against the force of disparity, beating, beating back against the little voices in my head that tell me I am nothing, I am something, and I know, I know that hope comes. But hope comes at an undeniable full blow, even when your footsteps show another story, making it hard to believe that each step plants nearing doubt, growing fear you blossom out. It will creep into your heart, seeping, latching on like a leech, sucking out every bit of disparity until the only thing flowing through your veins is the intangibility of hope that no one can take. But hope comes. I know sometimes you feel small and insignificant as if you were a prokaryote feeling unable to grasp your own goals like you were drowning in a pool full of hurdles with no life jacket. But remember, hope, hope comes. comes. Even in the harshest environments, prokaryotes, they survive. Prokaryotes, they trumpet regardless of every element going against them and regardless of every element going against you, you will survive too because hope, hope comes. comes. So hold on tight to that edge with all of your strength. Hold on tight to that edge with all of your might because hope is here, shining brighter than the sun to guide you out of the darkest parts of your cerebrum. So tie the silver lining around your worries, toss them into the sky, and let the creator up high embrace them to ease your mind. Hope, hope is, is here. here. Boy, <laughs>